So you want to reveal your text in a really cool way. Hey guys, welcome back Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to do this cool text reveal, um, which is actually really easy and is probably one of the coolest things we've done on the channel text-wise, and I'll tell you why once we get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit B on my keyboard, hover over the box, the, uh, the, 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 hover my box over top of, uh, default cube and the lamp we're gonna delete both of those select my camera with the right mouse button alt G alt R to clear the location and the rotation R X 90 on my numpad and left click to confirm that selection move the camera back behind the grid and zero to go into our cameras view now we are all set up I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift a on my keyboard and add in a text object hit R X 90 once again on my keyboard to uh, rotate that 90 degrees on the x-axis left click to confirm i'm going to drag this big old panel open here on the side and we're going to go to the font tab over here we're going to change the extrude value um uh, to something about right there i'm also going to go down to paragraph and change the horizontal alignment to center and uh then we're going to go ahead and add we're going to grab our font we're going to pick this font with uh, this, little, this little folder icon right here and i've chosen a font called carbon black i'll leave the link down in the description as always uh, middle mouse button to pan around, my, pan around my scene, by the way, and um, I'm going to go ahead and hit S to scale this bad boy up, and now, depending on what font you have, you, this 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 uh, value may be different, so you're just going to want to play around with this Y offset until you get the text somewhere around the center, and then we'll go ahead and start and get, get started with this. Um, actually, I'm going to change the extrude value, I'm going to put that down a little bit about right uh, right there just enough so that it has an edge but not so thick that you can be able to see it this is probably this is probably low enough right there so what is that um, point <laughs> point zero 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 five so that looks that's really really thin if I go ahead and go to the modifiers tab that might be that that's probably thick enough if I go to the modifiers tab this is the great thing about this uh, we can do all of this with it still being a text we don't have to go ahead and hit alt C and change it from a text to a mesh we don't have to do that we can leave it as a text leave it editable which is great and we can go ahead and add our modifier of smooth and now you can see what we have here is this this really cool effect and if I play with the if I play with the fact you can see it gets uh, you know thin and and thicker which is really really cool um, so that's really nice you might get a little bit of a weird artifact type thing here and there um, but that's the point that's that's what looks great about it so it looks kind of cool you see how we're getting this like this zigzaggy type stuff right there that looks really cool uh, the default value if I'm not mistaken is just zero so we're gonna put that back on zero and if I go to my cameras view by hitting zero on my numpad, you can see if we go ahead and scrub through the factor here, you can see how cool we can get this to look, which is really pretty sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and change my start frame to zero because it's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, I'm going to change the end frame to 80. And we're going to go ahead and on the last keyframe, whatever keyframe that is, if it's 80, if it's 100, if it's 1042, um, you're going to go to whatever the last frame is in your scene. I'm going to hit hover my cursor over top of factor and hit I. Uh, then I'm going to go to the first frame, whatever frame that is for you, and I'm going to go ahead and change this value as down and to get this as thin as is possible. Because once you start going uh, too far past the number, then it starts to get big again. So you want to go and see how, how thin you can get. That looks pretty thin right there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead with uh, 1.990. Hit I on my keyboard right there. And now if we play this animation, I'm going to go ahead and, and open this uh, tab here on the side with that plus. Go to display, hit only render, by the way. Get rid of all that stuff we don't need. If I were to hit play... You can see our text has this really cool reveal like thing. That's really, really sweet, right? Really pretty sweet. Um, so that is, uh, that's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to actually change my in frame to 100 instead of 80. Um, and the reason is, is because I want to actually have a little bit of wiggle room for the ending here. So with the factor, I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, to about right there. So I'm going to go a little bit more past the zero past the zero mark to negative 0.17 and hit i hover my cursor over top of factor hit i right there so when it's uh when it gets fully back to zero it goes a little bit past it to get a little bit of a a, a kind of spill effect of it of it getting bigger like that so uh something like um something like that which looks pretty cool so that is that what we have now is a really cool thing but i want this to start completely uh, gone. It's you can see we can still see 
this little bit of a thinness on the first frame. So we're to get rid of that, we're going, going to go ahead and add another modifier. This modifier will be, where is it at? Uh, build, yes. We're going to add a build modifier. If you don't know what build is, it pretty much does this. Which is super cool. If I get rid of the smooth modifier, you can see exactly what build does if I go ahead. It actually builds the text. Now, the parts where you see it going really fast is because in the geometry of the text, like the T only has like one or two subdivisions. It's like all one or two, three faces. The X has like a billion different faces, so it kind of it kind of builds all those slowly. Then all of a sudden you see it pops in that one right there because that's all one face. That's all one face. That's all one face and then so on and so forth. So the way we can uh, make this not look as weird is first I'm going to go ahead and change the text to say uh, touch by Kai, what else? Um, <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and change my uh, length to approximately 50. I'll do something like 50. And then it kind of builds like that, which looks pretty sweet. So we just need a little bit of uh, a little bit of a way to kind of make sure that it it builds kind of uh, nice like that. If you want to turn on random, you can turn on randomize, which would be a pretty nice feature because it kind of just all comes in at the same time randomly like that, of course. Um, which is also a pretty good, which pretty good uh, uh, example. So I go if I play this with the randomize on. You can see it has this really random effect as it grows in, which looks pretty sweet. Or you could turn randomize off, and it goes in this really cool like fluid pattern like that. And that might be a bit fast, so I'll change the length to. We'll change it back to 100. Yeah, sure, why not? You can see that looks much better. Uh, than it did before, and we can also, of course, animate the color if you wanted to. You can animate the color to be um, from. So let me change to cycles, and we'll change it from solid black. We'll, hit, we'll have our cursor over that. Hit I, and go to the not the last frame, but the 80th frame, and we'll change the color to white, and hit I. So now we go ahead and turn our scene color to solid black, and then uh, give this a bit of a render with world background you can see that and only render on you can see that our color will uh will change well, well let's see now we can go to rendered viewport chain you can see it better uh the color will change ah that's because we don't have a light <laughs> if i go ahead and turn ambient occlusion on we should be we should be fine all right so there we go uh it'll play through the color will go from black to white which looks really nice so that is that pretty much for our uh, for our text reveal. I think it looks pretty cool. You could do a couple a couple more things in post with this, but I think that'll be a good starting base for you guys to go off of and do some pretty cool things with. Um, and if you if you actually do uh, make anything with this scene, I really love to see it. If you if you want to, you can post a video on YouTube. Um, you can also. Um, uh, send me a message on Twitter. My my Twitter is down in the uh, in the description section as always. But yeah, that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't be all shy. Make sure you subscribe. I was trying to rhyme, but that didn't really rhyme. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye bye.